Um, all right, cool. I wish that, and I, I don't know. It's definitely doable. They could do this. I wish that the splash page here, because you can customize your character now in game. I wish the splash page showcased your custom character. And obviously you can have multiple save files, but it would just automatically load in your little avatar from whatever the most recent save you played was. I think that'd be a cool feature. I could probably suggest it. They've got a fairly active community conversation deal. All right, are we ready? Let's do it. More Satisfactory. Satisfactory 1.0. Finally released. The game that I've been playing on and off obsessively for the past five years? It's finally released. Hi, Ted. How you doing? Gang's all here. Okay, I remember when we stopped playing last time, I, st I stood, stood my little person in a place where I could look out and see what my next things were going to be. And I think, I think, no, that's not where I am. I thought I stood in, okay, that's fine. Hi, is that August? Hello, August. Um, oh, yeah, and I had, I had another thought, actually, that I wanted to take care of right now. I know I said we're going to take care of stuff immediately, and then I didn't. But, I decided I want to move this stuff back. Let's go... There. And you make that. So we're gonna do that. Can I, how do I paint this? Like that. Ha ha! Beautiful. Ooh, my pockets are going to be full of garbage. You like watching me play games? Good, I'm glad to hear that, bud. I'll try not to cuss so much. Okay, we're going to do this because... Eventually, I'm going to add in, like, splitters. No, we need a merger. Uh, smart splitters to this system. And like storage and stuff like that, storage uh, containers. Whoop, wrong button. There we go. And let's make you. We're just gonna clip a little bit. It's fine. Okay, we still have juice. Great. That's my name now. That ha! That was my name. <laughs> We're gonna make this process leaves and this process wood, because the alphabet. There we go. And let's start pooping out the biomass. Okay. Whew. And we actually didn't. We didn't lose power at all, which is phenomenal. There we go. And we're back online now. Great. But now, what this means is that eventually I'm going to have... This This will not be my final setup. But I'm hoping that I can do an intermediary setup where I, I plunk down a storage container. A single storage container here. Oh, boy. And then I can just chuck in leaves and wood, bam, bam. And then I have a smart splitter to divide up what goes where. I may have two containers for now, but I don't know. I probably won't do containers yet. Because we're doing a good job of, of keeping, keeping, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at all those, those logs. And I think everything's getting fed, right? Are you... Oh, you're hungry. 
you're doing okay. That's right, because this is actually, my, my speed of conveyor belt is enough to feed 7.5 of these burners. So this guy, these two at the end won't get a ton. I could, I could cheese it. I probably don't need to focus on this. Doggies leaving hair everywhere. Yeah, your dog is, is quite, quite the hairy monster. Okay, so now, what do we have in terms of resources? Not, we got a ton of concrete, which is great. Oh, we're doing good on iron, too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start paving the planet. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do. Now what I can do is this. And this will actually sit on top and then snaps to foundations. Okay, so let's get you powered up again with a nice orderly power pole. And we'll have to rearrange that because I want to have things orderly. So you are making 60 per minute foundation simulator. Yeah, I know, right? Adrian and I, Adrian and I were talking earlier about why why this game and games like it are fun. How do I talk? There is Zoop. Zoop's the best mode. Um, why factory simulator games are so appealing to me. And, and she explained what she, her theory was in a really good way, and I think she's absolutely correct in that because of the way my brain works, and oftentimes because of the way that it doesn't. <laughs> this game and games like it are just the right combination and, and almost like competing head-to-head -head factors of order and chaos. So, I've talked about it a little on stream before, but I, I'm officially ADHD and unofficially autistic. And those two sides of my brain are linked in ways that are horrible and terrifying usually, but with a game like this, the autism side is like, I need to make order and structure and make sure everything is just lined up correctly and right and looks good and feels good and doesn't feel spiky or scratchy or anything like that. And the ADHD side, ADHD side, Am I out of, I'm out of resources? No, okay. Is... Is... Like... Feeds and fuels itself on the crises. Um, you know, like when I... When the power... The, the fuses break, the power fails. Like, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta figure that out. Or, you know, trying to... Trying to, you know, get all the resources and fight the monsters and, you know, just all the other little chaos things in this game. I, do I need... Do I have... Haha! -ha, there it is. I knew it's somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think I think she's absolutely right. That that is why games like this... And other games, like Played Up is another great example. Remember... Remember, hmm, remember how much Played Up we used to play? And it's the same thing, where it is it's order and chaos linked together. The Hard Space Shipbreaker I think is another good example. And that you've got to methodically disassemble those ships, but then when things go wrong, you've got to be able to react and take care of it. So, just kind of interesting to, to realize things about yourself, you know? Gamifying order? Yeah, absolutely. Um, officially autistic in your heart? Who, me or you? <laughs> I'm not diagnosed, but I'm peer-reviewed. That's what it is. Uh, and, oh yeah, of course you love hearing it. You're right. I know, I know. It's the last time it'll happen, trust me. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, so we need to start doing maths. We are making bacon pancakes. We are making 60 per minute out of that guy there. Why not both that gif? Yeah. So we need... This will be two... 
two iron dealies. I'm just gonna end up with a lot of a lot of rocks in my pocket. <laughs> just autism things, am I right? Um But here's here's the additional problem. And it's not really a big problem. But this guy out here is like way shooting forward from the other two. And I don't like him. So we're gonna go like this. Are you still cooking? No. We may run out of pocket space here in a moment. And that's okay if that happens. Ah, oh, concrete! I had so much concrete! Oh, it's right here. Okay, we have concrete again. Okay, cool. Let's pick up some more bags of concrete. Oh, that's a lot. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to start to get some... some semblance of order. I'm not going to power these up yet, but I will daisy chain them together. Now here's the real fun part, is getting your your belts to to curve at just the right angle. I think that's right. Let me try that. Nope, that was bad. That was very bad. I think it's there. Oh god. I clearly haven't played this in a while. used to have all these little intricacies down. I want this to be in the middle of this line of foundations. Wait, what? What? What is this? You can do different vertical modes, or horizontal modes, rather, with your belts? Oh! Oh, it does it for you now! Oh, that's... That's tasty. Here, take this. Okay, so... We're going to have to do something about that copper and concrete production over there. So you need two smelters. I might just do it like, like that. One of my favorite things is that the game says, I know what you're trying to do, and gives you a little line when it's lined up. See? Beautiful symmetry. Okay. Which means I need, I'll put that right there, it's good. So each of these is going to get two smelters, so I'm just going to do this. One thing I wish the game did is tell you how much the item you're about to build, or the building you're about to build, costs. Because when I don't have enough resources, let me show you an example. The space elevator, it says I'm missing, you know, I need. I have 320 out of 500 concrete, 196 out of 250 plates, etc. It'll tell me what I'm missing. But if I can make it, it doesn't tell me how much I'm about to use. And I don't think it's super crucial to have that information, but I, was, I think I'd still like to know. I thought 
this would line up too. Is that right? Oh, 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 we almost froze there. My computer's been doing funny things lately. What was I saying? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I factoried too close to the sun. Okay, let's let's try that again. Crap. How much time did I lose? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, I lost a lot. I got I got really in the zone there building. Okay. Balls. Thanks, Ted. That's outstanding use of that, that emote. Zoop. change my mind on how well I want to do these power pulls. Only slightly, though. The early versions of this game were very restrictive in how you could place things. For example, if I wanted to do a conveyor belt, like, it will let me do this almost however I want. Oh, I can't build through... Because you can, like, build through stuff now with the conveyors. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, like this. This little this little move here. It's horrible. <laughs> but the game lets you do it now. And it didn't at first. Because um, it lets you clip things in ways that still look nice occasionally without being too Ugh, what have you done um, which is what I just did there but I, I I do like the choice of the devs to kind of say you know what it's your factory if you really want to do that I guess go ahead okay alright let's try not to make that happen again I did one of these. I did it like on the, the midpoint. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a new mode to change the mode of this from like straightest line possible to give me right angles. That is that's actually huge. I'm very excited about that. here. Thank you. So rude. Is that correct? Nope. Is that correct? Actually, I like that placement better. Yeah. Wait, which one was right? I did the same thing again. Dang it. Yeah. On the line.
Okay. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's beautiful. What if I go the other way? Oh, I like that even better. Because normally, that it would do that. Just straight as possible distance. But here... I'm really glad I didn't look at... Like, any patch notes or anything for this game. Can I... I think I can actually... I thought I could copy-paste. Maybe not. Like, literally copy-paste. Oh, I have to be... I have to be in the window to do it. Because it's right there at the bottom. Can copy settings. Okay, copy. That one's good. Now, can I do it without... It actually doesn't do anything. Control. Okay. It's annoying. So now here is another problem. These, I'm running out of empty, yeah, actually I don't even have any empty spots on that. So in order to actually power this whole shindig, do one of those, because I need to power other stuff going in front of it. Get, get that fixed. What? Nope. So now, we've got one, two, that's eight. No, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these making 30 ingots per minute. Because this is making, yeah, 60 per minute split, 30 per minute, 30 per minute. Great. So it's 180 iron ingots per minute that we're getting now. And what that means is... Plates is a 30 to 20, so this will be a 1 to 1 on these guys here. What we need is... We need to be able to make the two ingredient guys. Which I think is a higher priority than whatever that one was. Um, we can do that. Can't quite do the others yet. So we're going to make some plates. And we need more of the reinforced iron plates. Cool. Still doing real good on power because of the power plant that we focused and built. Even the little odd generator out's doing good. That one's not doing as great, but that's okay. Um, we are going to need to snipe some of this um, biomatter. Oh, yeah, give me, just give me that. So now we have um, fuel for the chainsaw. 
which I don't think we need to use yet. I've still got wood in my pocket that we can uh, burn. In fact, yeah, we're we're basically at a standstill with the input. Great. Because the wood is so efficient at making the biomass. You get 600 in, 300 out. But that 300 out is never going to matter because by the time we get belts that fast, hopefully we're not running off of a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, bio Biofuel anymore. Hopefully we'll be on coal by then. Oh, we can build a ton of these. I do want to give copper the same treatment as all this, which means I'll probably just, you know, do some more of these. Like, that's for copper. And that's for copper! Um, ooh, that's a little... See, right here? See that little clip? I don't know, are we okay with that? We might be. Okay, so now the thing is... Um, why don't you have juice? What's going on here? this line oh that dotted lines new too showing that it's straight oh okay oh that's beautiful I really love this this new right angle mode on the um, on the old conveyors we are not actually making any more copper at the moment because I turned off the miner. There we go. But it was full of a buffer, so we're fine. Oh, and you just don't have any juice. Oh, it's not a smelter for you, it's a constructor. I'm just gonna do something temporary and ugly right now. Will that reach? Hell yeah. Really didn't like that shape. What? Oh, it's too long. Okay. Okay. There, there is a problem with this, this mode. <laughs> it's interesting that it changes the path depending on which way you, you you put it too. Like, look at. Can I see? Does that clip? We're gonna have to get into that quite yet. There we go. Cool. Hell yes. 
So now the, the problem is, one of the many problems is that I didn't account for the two to one ratios from, uh, or the one to two ratios rather from smelter to constructor for things like copper wire, cable. I need to build a ton of cable too. For things like copper wire, copper wire only uses 15 per minute. This makes 30. So just like the rods over on the iron side, we need to do some, some creative splitting. And I didn't really count for that in, in the layout here. Which is fine. Let's do one more of iron plates just like this, and then I might rearrange everything. We're gonna, we're gonna move this up. I know I can multi-select, but that's fine. So, what we need now is the same kind of spacing of constructors. Cable! God damn it. Luckily we have a ton of wire. Same space in the constructors. Oh, but I didn't do enough depth spacing either. Because I need one of these guys. Here. For each of these guys. That, yeah, there's no way I can do that. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, we know where it's going on one axis. Do that? Oh, is that gonna work? Come on. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> There's no way that's okay. All right, let's let's do that. What about there? Yeah. Okay. I just need to move everything up one little one little notch. Still shove a con uh, power pole in here. That's a beautiful thing. Oh boy. enough plates to actually um, chunk into the, the thingy. You know what I meant. Okay. You 
still don't have power, though. over there too. Reinforced iron plate. Alright, well, let's make some more real fast. I'm building the wrong thing. the last of the screws to make these plates. Okay, and these are going to be making wire. Right? Because I've already got... Yeah. Okay, now here's an issue. Well, this looks stupid. No, it looks great. It looks great. Looks stupid. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bummer. Why does that look like that? Oh. Oh, that's that's nice. That's what we're talking about right there. You don't have any power. You have no power here. Now we do. You're not quite in the middle. Oh, I still didn't properly take into consideration the other two to ones that happen further on down the line because wires makes 30 per minute to make cables it's oh it's 60 per minute so i need to i need to um i need to merge in order to make cables oh which actually we're actually fine we're gonna have two constructors of copper wire feeding into one constructor for cable, and then two constructors of copper wire solo. Is there a... Yeah, I knew it. Oh. This is going to be an issue. Go West. Thanks. Thanks, August. I'm assuming that was August, not Adrienne rooting me on. Okay, because we actually have two of those bad boys. We're gonna about to need some more. We're gonna about to need some more were the words that I just said. 
Um, we're going to need some more reinforced iron plates here shortly. But we're getting the production line up that we can start automating those, which would be great. Why are you sad, machine? Oh, that's right. This is how we do this. Just off center. Right? Hold on. Two clicks from center. Okay. There we go. All right, and now we need to split this line. Actually, a terrible place to start building production lines because of this frickin' rock! It's fine. Moiger. Too close. Those are going to merge into one constructor cabling. And I have. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. We're making cables. So now let's go back over here. And you two are making rods. What do we need for... Gosh darn it. Did I not... I didn't plug these back in. Whoopsie. Okay. It's fine. need to get too cosmetic with these yet. Are you full? You are almost full. Here. 
Um, we do need to keep in mind the cost of this bad boy, too. We're making all these parts now, so we should be able to afford the space elevator relatively soonish. This is going to take forever. I might actually relegate my other two constructors to making cable, too, just for now. that cook for a little bit and I'm gonna go foraging I don't have the map yet I was trying to open the map um, I'm actually gonna forage in this direction oh hold on I got a lot of stuff in my pocket what is what is explain yourself why do I have this copper oh I was waiting till these ran out so that I could shove these in and then hook up copper. And we we almost left, if I hadn't done a quick inventory check, we almost left with the factory not actually product producting. Producing. Okay. We're making making copper again. We're melting copper again. Alright, now let's go. I've done it before, where I'm like, okay, while that makes stuff, let's go off and do other things and come back and found that I hadn't hooked something up or it's not making it or, you know, whatever. So I am very glad that I checked. Ooh, is that a Mercer Sphere? It is. Let's go get our first sphere. We might be able to platform our way up this. There is some element of 3D platforming to this game, but they also want to encourage you to build to get to places you want to go. Control S first. Ted, kiss your brain. Thank you. Can I build ramps? I can. I can ramp. Oh, I have walls too. Whoa, we could go all crazy. clip through it. That's fun. Ah. Oh, too far. Okay. So, in all previous versions of the game, in, until Alpha, the summer sloops, like we discovered last time, that, that fun little S thing that everyone drew in school, and the Mercer spheres, which we're about to fuck... Which we're about to collect. <laughs> we're always present in the game, but never did anything. They would have, like, weird kind of, like, alien, like, visual and audio effects to them. Like, you can hear it kind of glowing. Oh, no. Okay. We're, we may just have to... Ow. Uh... I'm sure there's a no clip cheat. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna be that. Oh, iron uh oh. Where am I? Are you you can't get up Oh shit, you can get up here. Alright, alright. Come on. Get back. Alright. Let's, let's finish one of these thoughts. Um, can I just do, like, partial? Yeah, I can go right about... I could go back for resources. Or... I could do this. 
este. Oh god. <laughs> you guys can probably see that I, I thought about it. We're not, we're not messing with that this time. Um, so yeah, the Mercer Spheres and the Summer Sloops have been in the game since it launched, and they always had this audio effect, and... Ooh, that's got a new visual effect, too. They used to just be like a big bowling ball, basically, and now it's, it looks gooey. Um, but for, for the very early builds of this game, this little guy was not named. The Mercer Sphere was not named. It is named, fun fact, after Matt Mercer, the voice actor and of Critical Role fame and all the other video games and cartoons he says. Because he tweeted that he and his wife really loved this game and they had a lot of fun with it when it was in like early, early alpha. So the developers named this sphere after him, which is very cool. And in fact, when you pick it up, oh, oh, that's all new. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the DM presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain-melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal and will require study to determine local application, store it for later use. That's new dialogue too when you pick it up. Um, the D.M. Mercer is new, I hadn't seen that before. And the achievement for picking that up is, I'm sure these play a critical role. So it's really cute. I'm not the biggest fan of the Critical Role show, but oh, I do like I like the homage. It's clever. Okay. That wasn't what I set out to find. Mercer's a bit much. Yeah, Mercer is a bit much. I don't know, I just I I could go off on a rant. I'm not... No, no you're not. Go away. <laughs> how, do I, how do I get rid of this? Ted, you're a mod now, figure it out. Oh, thanks, Ted! Ted, I love you. Y you did it. You done did it. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, I, Mercer's a bit much, and I think my bigger problem is just the fact that they're still with Wizards of the Coast after everything that's happened. Because Brennan Lee Mulligan is right, the true villain of Dungeons and Dragons is and always will be capitalism. And it's one of the reasons why I really like the Glass Cannon podcast so much, is because... They've done a couple D and D things over the years, but primarily they stayed away from it, and and they they've got a really great partnership with Paizo, who makes Pathfinder. And Pathfinder is a really great game and a really great company too. So, I don't know. It's just I'm finding as as time goes on, I'm more mo more and more okay with limiting my consumption of of products and media based on beliefs which is hard to do in in a capitalist economy it's very hard to do but when you can make an easy choice like I'm not gonna support Wizards of the Coast there's other games to play I'm not gonna support JK Rowling there's other media to consume stuff like that then that I think that's an okay choice to make. Okay, so this is actually what I was coming out to find. I wanted to get some some um, some juice for the chainsaw, chainsaw juice as it were, and then I also wanted to grab one of these hard drives. And we can't do anything with it yet because there's a research station we need to, to research first. Um, but we need to juice it up with two. Oh fuck me. I need two of these, and I have zero. I have 11 plates, and I need 30 plates. Okay. Back to base. 
<laughs> That's okay. We, we don't have the research station to actually do anything with that uh, hard drive yet anyway. So, we should have enough cable by now. Let's pop that into the milestone. And then we can start research on the ma'am. Oh, <laughs> there's an item that you can make later on that's uh, like a zip line. It's a little like handheld hook thing that you can use to slide down on, on your power lines. And out of habit, I almost tried to do that. And I wouldn't have died, but it wouldn't have felt good. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Did I, did I do a dumb? I did. I set that to make cable. Oh, that's plenty of cable. <laughs> plenty of cable is my Irish neighbor. <laughs> Get out of here. Bam. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, Oof. smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fixed company goals without any other ulterior. August says good night. Good night, August. Note. Humans cannot craft project parts. Sleep well, bud. Don't worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Okay, so now... Now we have the fun game of more math, because to efficiently make screws, it's 10 rod per minute, 40 screw per minute. 10 and 40 out. You'll still be here though? Okay, cool. Um, however, we are making 15 per minute out of one of these bad boys. So two of them, because we have, yeah, two, we can merge these two. Right? One, two, three, four, these two. We can merge these two. Is that in line with that? No. We are just clipping a little bit like that. Yeah. We'll, we're going to merge these two, and then... How do I... There's a way to... There it is. And then we're going to split these two into three. It's gonna be ugly. We're still doing okay on power, right? Yeah, we're doing fine. We are gonna need to worry about it soonish. But not yet. Screws. Okay, so now we are making 120 screws per minute. So let's let that cook for a bit. Um, let's go stash our Mercer Sphere and these alien parts. And then chuck the plants into the appropriate... Oh, and the Caterium, too. Oh, and these rotors, too. I forgot to pick up rotors. Those are useful. Not useful yet, but will be. Okay, leaves in the left. Wood in the white. And... 
We've got enough concrete to make a space elevator. It's just wires, rods, and plates. And plates, actually, I think we have enough sitting in constructors. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. We likely have enough, um, oh gosh, iron rods, too. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, and we got enough wire. This is one of the best, oh, okay, well, we have almost enough wire. Now we have enough wire. One of the best, like, when you hit this milestone in the game, where you suddenly have enough resources to just start building things, and it, it comes in peaks and valleys, like, you'll hit that hurdle multiple times where it's like, uh, you're building, 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 and suddenly you don't have enough resources because the new stuff you want to build take a more specialized resource that you don't have fully automated yet. So when you hit those those smooth valleys of I have an abundance of, of resources, I have an abundance of building materials, I'm good to go, that feels good. And then you hit the ones where it's like, well, I need, because right now I'm actually most limited by these reinforced plates because I can't physically build them yet. Actually, I can now. But to build the, the thing that builds them, I'm limited by a resource that I have to handcraft or pick up. I actually found some of these. Remember how I said those rotors will be useful later? Later is now. Okay, so let's just pop one down. Take a look. We need 30 iron plates per minute, which we're making here plus some. It's terrible, terrible ratios. And then 60 screws per minute, which we're making here. Double. Oh! Oh! Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? So, these three constructors are making 40 screws per minute each, so it's 120 screws. This guy right here needs 60 screws per minute, so I can do two. So I can have two of these assemblers from just this, these three screw constructors. That's a new little sound effect when the freighter comes back. So, if I need... If I'm going to do two of these assemblers to make reinforced plates, I need 60 iron plates per minute, which is one, two, three. So, I just need to merge those and split again, basically. And then, same with, with these. I need to merge these... No, I can't merge and split, because if I merge all three together, it needs a 120 per minute belt, and I don't have that yet. So what I need to do is split the middle of these two and then merge that split line with the two outside lines to get two lines of 60. Okay. And then that gives me a full 10 reinforced iron plates per minute by using half of my iron rod production. Yeah, so using half my iron rod production and three quarters of my iron plate production. Which, which really, if nothing else, tells you we're going to need to expand. And we actually found another patch of iron over there by that Mercer Sphere, so we can easily do that. Nerd, yeah, I know. I know, I... This is one of the few times... I need screws. Fuck. Where I, I truly get excited about math. <laughs> In games like this. Or like, oh man, look at that ratio, that's perfect! Because those perfect ratios, they start falling off real quick in this game. Where, like, here, it was very easy for me to say, okay, I can have two of these. How many toothpicks are on the floor? Uh, three. <laughs> um, I can have two of these and very easily figure out the ratios for inputs based on the existing resources that I'm producing. But later on, it's going to be like, this requires... 12.75 per minute. It's like, well, if I want to be efficient, how am I going to make that? And the only way you can really do that is with the splitters and bal or splitters and mergers. And the splitters can either give you half of a line or a third of a line. Or if you start getting really creative, you can then like split and merge half of it back in. Um, I usually don't go that hard into belt balancing, but I've seen some crazy builds that do. Okay, now we can build the man. 
Milestone reached. Yes, ma'am. Supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. Oh! To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. Okay, so... Let me explain my reactions. This looks the same. This is a new tech tree, because they hadn't done anything with the Mercer Spheres or the Summer Sloops until the 1.0 release. In addition, I completely forgot, There's there were resource nodes of SAM ore, S-A-M, Strange Alien Mineral. And you could mine them, but you couldn't do anything with the ore in the same way that you pick up the Mercer Spheres and Summer Sloops, and you couldn't do anything with them. But now, they're in the research tree. Very exciting. Um, and then I noticed that the mushroom has a new icon, which is kind of cool. Um, those you find near, like, rivers and stuff, which is why we haven't seen them yet. And, yeah, I'm actually just really excited to explore the new stuff from this update. So let's start un oh, not that. Let's start unlocking things like this. Like this. There it is. Cool. The remains researched belong to an organism with eight jointed legs, similar to the legs of arachnids, but with non-standard distribution and function. Because its attacks focus on stabbing prey with the ends of their legs, which resemble insectoid stingers, they have been dubbed stingers. Stinger remains can now be made into alien it. protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Oh, I, I saw that. I was like, I need biomass to research this. No, it's just telling me I have a new way of making biomass. That's fine. It's called Stinger because the way it is. It's called Stinger because it stings. Research completed. Alien protein can now be turned into biomass or alien DNA capsules. In addition to being used for research, the invaluable alien life form data in these capsules can be traded for fix it coupons at the awesome sink. We guarantee the best capsule to coupon exchange rate anywhere on this planet. <laughs> Alien Protein's the title of your sex film. <laughs> Alien Protein actually would be a really good band name. Alright, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this for years. What happens? Oh... Mercer Sphere the Analysis fuck is completed. that? Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific... Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to the file or shrine? Sing us all. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data oh, is still untranslatable. That was exciting. That was exciting! Summer Sloop analysis completed. Summer Sloops are somewhere between that was new, yeah. and Conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum, and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy, similarities to the hypothetical force of dark it, like, energy to potentially be one and too. the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Okay, so yeah, that was all new because previously you couldn't pop 
the Summer Sloop or the Mercer Sphere into the, the research mis machine. The only thing that was kind of like weird and, and, and crazy about them in the past, like when the items are out in the field and you can pick them up, your little computer would start glitching out and be like, you must pick this up, harvest it for the company, stuff like that. Having an actual like alien message interrupt and hack your, your AI, that's new. And I'm a big fan. All right, we got to find some Sam ore, it looks like. The metal has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, very efficient. Also, rude. Also rude. If you are confident you already understand the new technologies you are about to use, by all <gasps> means, learn the hard way. Oh! She was will now assume you are an expert calling me rude of these technologies accordingly. I'm sorry, I thought it would just queue up all the dialogue. Oh, I pissed off the AI. Whoops. That's that's unfortunate. She's calling me rude because I interrupted her. Okay. Let's get planning. I don't even have Riz with AI. I know, man. Tell me about it. Okay, so to make smart plating, because we're gonna need smart plating to build the um, what's it called? This uh, the parts of the space elevator. So we actually don't need to go quite so hard on. Like, if I want to do the minimum, I might just do one of these assemblers making reinforced iron plates, which means I can just take one of these lines and half of this line to get the iron that I need and then same thing here one of these lines and half of this line to get the screws that I need and that gives me five per minute to make the smart plating I only need two per minute so at the bare minimum we'll start with that rotors however rotors <sighs> I forgot to the, to the minimum title of your you know what never mind yeah that's about right um rotors on the other hand suck okay so here's why they suck to officially make the four rotors per minute as listed in this recipe i need a hundred screws per minute my current belt speed is 60 items per minute i could potentially research oh I can I need to start building reinforced plates first but in order to get the 120 per minute I need to research this I think we're going to select this first though because we can do it milestone reached you have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program also known as awesome your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Directing parts on. of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. The awesome sink's are actually really cool. Oh, is it dark mode now? <laughs> I love that. Factory cart's awesome. Oh, you can make tapes. The boom box is pretty fun. Statues just to waste extra tickets on. 
I'm sure there's new stuff in here. Some of it you need to, like, unlock the tech first. Oh, that's new. Yeah. Well, it's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real-life factory town that I'm the only resident of. Um, I don't get paid. Oh, stairs are new? <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm very excited. Construction fence is new. There's that coffee cup. I want that. <clears throat> yeah, so... You... You sink bonus resources into the awesome sink and I love that it's one of my favorite things in in especially it happens a lot in sci-fi media um, where there's a forced acronym awesome is an acronym I can't remember what she said but the, you know it's one of the things where out of world the writer said we want it to be called this how can we build that word from these letters um, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a good example, actually. Because in the comics, S.H.I.E.L.D., the organization, in Marvel Comics, S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't stand for anything at first. And then they forced it to stand for things later once... Uh, I can't remember if it originated with the movies, or it might have come in the comics prior to the movies, but originally in the comics, it didn't stand for anything. Um, but it's one of those, like, forced acronyms. <laughs> Chimp. Chimp has incredible monkey powers. See, exactly. Great example. Um, yeah. But the awesome thing's cool because you can throw your extra resources in and it literally grinds them up and spits out little, little shitty ticket coupons that you spend in here to unlock... Uh, new cosmetics, like you saw with, like, the walls and stairs and statues, but then also, like, really useful things, too. Like, signs are useful. Um, the wall mounts and ceiling mounts and floor holes, that's all really useful just for, like, for, like, actual infrastructure for your base, not just cosmetic. We're not quite there yet because we don't have any extra resources to sink. Um, we will eventually. Um, I've been playing this for... Can't tell how long. Oh, about an hour and a half already. Whoops. Got so hooked into it. We're going to take a short break. Um, let me save again because my computer is being a little prima donna. And then I'll be back in a few minutes. Will the button work? Let's find out. No, the button won't work. Why the frick not? How about now? Thank you. 